Hey, can you uh, take me through that fight? And could you feel him fading starting in the second round? Because that's what it was. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> that first round didn't start off the way I wanted it. Um, you know, it looked like he kicked pretty hard. He did. And, uh, you know, uh, and then I started opening it up, and then and I started noticing he started fading, so I kept putting on the pressure, kept the pressure, pressure, and then he started taking more shots, and I knew he was getting trouble. So, uh, yeah. It seemed like you were able to march him down pretty consistently the, that last 10 minutes without much problem. Yeah, I mean, just kind of going jab, you know, trying to angle and you know, keep him at bay. You know, more punches, you know, keep him at bay. Uh, uh, Gonzaga said that he broke his hand in the first round. Did you f did you see that? Did you feel that? Uh, well, you hit me a bunch of times in the head. Um, <laughs> sort of how he did. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I was getting yelled at by my corner, kept my hands up, and I kept dropping my left hand. So, uh, I mean, I, mean, I don't know. He kept hitting me, so. I mean, I don't know. I just was going to ask you if you if you kind of saw that he was hurt and then you changed your strategy. Uh, you no, know, I just I saw him getting tired, so I just kept pushing the pace a little bit more, a little bit more, and then, you know, just trying to break him mentally. Did you feel almost like you uh, that Gonzaga was kind of fading in the fight? It seemed like you turned it on in the third round as the fight progressed and stuff. So did you kind of feel him fading a little bit as you headed into the third round? Because it seemed like you really turned up your intensity midway through that third round and tried to close it out. Um, yeah. That uh, yeah, um, yeah, definitely. Uh, my coach is, you know, that was a game plan, you know, uh, <clears throat> keep the pace up. And once it starts to get fade, you know, just keep pushing the pace, keep pushing the pace. And, you know, I kept fading a little bit more, a little bit more, you know, and I got, you know, like, that shot, I caught with that left hook. You know, and then just play the game a little bit, you know, use time to get up and try to take shots. Like, definitely. What do you see next for you in the heavyweight division? Obviously, somebody higher ranked than you, but do you have any preference? You know, I just go home, heal up, get better, and wait for the call.